Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Matt Macklin in Saudi Arabia, the kingdom. First of all, Matt, delighted to be here. Yeah, definitely uh, looking forward to this uh, historic event, historic fight, you know, undisputed in the, the first of the four belt era, heavyweight undisputed. Uh, and a fight that, not necessarily particularly this fight, but the undisputed situation almost looked like it was cursed ever to happen. You know, like there was so much talk about it way back with uh, AJ and Fury or Wilder, you know what I mean? Whichever, it was th those were the three at that time. I was then AJ lost. Then he won the back, then Fury, you know, he was just ah, you just start to think this fight's just not gonna happen. And then it is gonna happen, and, and then there's the cut. And that's when I really thought, this is just gonna slip away now, this fight ain't gonna happen. But luckily, they've uh, it is happening. We're here, we're not we're not quite in the ring yet, but, but you know. Is there still part of you think so? We're not in the, the ring yet, this could still potentially fall through. I mean that face tells me a lot. It would have to be something so, like, it, you know, it'd be something like, I don't know, what could happen now, food poisoning or, you know, but I'd, I'd imagine everything's so, like, you know, then I, it, 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 you know what I mean? I'd, I'd, it'd be, you'd have, to, I don't know, it, look, someone could fall down the stairs, but, like, you, you, you know what I mean? You don't know, but. Don't you be saying that? I, I, I don't want to be jinxing it, but you know what I mean? It's something, it would have to be something mad like that now, because they're not going to get injured now training. Uh, they, they, they're heavy, they, they don't have to make weight, you know what I mean? So they, they can just chill out now, do a little bit just to keep the body moving, but they're, they're not going to do it, they're not going to do a lot, uh, they don't have to make weight. So it's just a mental focus now. It's all the uh, fight week promotional obligations that they've got to get through, and, and, and that, that could be that could be a pain in the ass now, do you know what I mean? Like you're furious, you know, you have to do it, but you don't want to do it. When we think of this fight, and like you said, something that maybe however many years, 25 years since the last, do you believe that this is the biggest fight in history? Uh, well, I think it's the, big, it's the biggest fight, I think, in my time, you know, in my generation anyway. You know, um, I think, you know, Pacquiao Mayweather was probably the big one before this. Uh, you know, that was, that was, you know, the difference with that one, though, that, that was two, two pound for pound grades of the sport, but it was four years past its sell by day i think that fight was you know th th I, you'd have to say here both these guys i'd say are still in their prime do you know what i mean now maybe they're maybe they're just past their prime but they haven't been beaten is what i mean by you know what i mean and maybe who knows they're, they're both right up there aren't they it's number one and number two and they're both undefeated so i'd say definitely in my era in the last 25 years this is the biggest fight how do you break it down? How do you say it going? Do you believe that Fury's saying, you know, he's going to be offensive, he's going to come out, he's going to try knock Alexander Usyk out? Do you believe that's the only way that he can beat Alexander Usyk? I don't think it's the only way he can beat him, but I think he, I do believe he will probably try and do that. Um, I think you always talk about fighters dictating the terms, you know, what are the terms? Well, the pace the fight's for, at, the range the fight's for, are there two, two big ones, uh, key, key elements really. Um, Usyk's, in my opinion, he's, he's kind of got to get in, get his shots off, get out, get in, get out. Like, cause if he, you know, he, he, I don't think he can stay on the outside and outbox Fury. You know, he's just going to Fury. That, Fury wins that. Um, and if he gets in too close, Fury's going to grab him, lean on him, pull him, drag him, drain him. You know what I mean? So it's at that mid distance where he's got to get in, get his shots off, and then get out again before Fury can grab a hold of him. And that's going to be a lot easier said than done. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and to sustain it, now he is super fit. He does box at a high pace. He's always on the move. So that's not abnormal for him, but he's got to do it against someone like Tyson Fury. In your opinion, how does it end? I think the safe money, the safe bet is Fury. You know what I mean? I think Usyk's the one who's got it all to do. Um, do you think Fury can stop him? He's 19 stone, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? If he catches him with a, with a good enough shot, yeah. Um, and he, he's not a massive. He's not. You wouldn't have. You would look at Fury and say he's a massive puncher. That's that's his kind of a trademark. He's not very clever. Good jab, but but, but he can take it to you. We, we, we show he showed that against Wilder. Um, I think Fury will do whatever it takes to do to win. If he has to win ugly and 
jab, grab, pull him. He'll do whatever it takes to, to find a way to win. Um, I, I think Usyk's got to kind of win cleanly. You know what I mean? He, he's not going to win a physical hustle and tussle. He's got to, he, he, he's, for him, it is key. Pace, distance, in, out, in, out, mid-distance, let your shots off, get off the angle, make Fury reset. It, you know, he's the one who's got to sort of execute the perfect game plan. I think Fury could probably, if he's winning on the outside with the jab, he can win and look good. If he has to drag him in and pull him and win ugly, he can do that too. Anthony Joshua arrived last night a little bit early for someone that's maybe coming to watch a fight. What do you make of that? What are you saying that he's here on standby in case someone gets injured? No, I'm just, I'm just saying, <laughs> like, it's strange to me that Anthony Josh was here almost a week before the fight. Do you do you find that weird as an ex-fighter? Well, look, I'm not an expert of Anthony Joshua's life, you know what I mean? He might, he might have just fancied yeah. a week's holiday in Saudi yeah. and the buzz of the big fight and soak it all up, you know, and, and do a bit of maybe press stuff himself, you know. You wouldn't know what his, his, uh, his motives are for coming out this early. Um, look, the reality is, if Fury wins, which I think he's the favourite, They'll probably do if it's a, if it's a competitive, close or controversial fight. They're, they're going to do the rematch. But you'd have to say, coming if Fury does come through that, everyone does want to see Fury and Joshua. Maybe more so than they want to see this. If this wasn't undisputed, I think they'd want to see AJ and Fury more so than than, than Usyk because of the history. Are we getting to the point though that you just spoke about Pacquiao and Mayweather coming late? Are we getting to the point that we're really on the cusp of? This may be welcome to it. We, we, we are, we are, we are definitely getting to that point now. You know, you hear promoters over the years saying you want to build fights. What, what, what was that terminology? I think Eddie used to say, marinate it a bit more or something. I, I, I totally understand that. I get it. You, you, you know, you got to keep cooking it, and you, you generate more money and fights bigger. Um, but but there is a point. There is definitely a point where you can pass yourself with that. And there's also a point where you say, well, you know, put them in now, and if it's a great fight and they win, they can do it again. You know, look at Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard. They, 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 they're two guys. They weren't even in their primes. Well, maybe Leonard was. Hearns certainly wasn't. You know, they were still they were still getting better. You know, and they did rematches and even trilogy fights. So there is there is, there is a point where it's past the sell boy. That, that I don't. That's not that ha, that hasn't happened here yet uh, because things have moved around. Obviously, with undisputed the belts and the heavyweight division, Usyk, AJ, etc. Ruiz, you know, so that's kind of lunged out a bit. Um, and they are both undefeated. And, and, and I think it is probably bigger now than it, than it ever was. But I think in terms of the AJ fight, he's, his stock is high now. Albeit off the back of beating an MMA fighter. But it's the MMA fighter that was probably, some people thought was unlucky not to get the decision against Fury. So there's a lot of things going on here. Um, Bottom line is public perception is if, if, if Fury wins this and AJ doesn't even box again or boxes and wins and looks good, that, that fight's as big as ever, if not bigger. Just just on the undercard of this, in terms of the fights that we've got, Opatai Breda stand out for you? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think you have to say that. Uh, I'm looking forward to Cordino Kakachi. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But that's probably more a hardcore. Yeah. But Opatai and... Um, and uh, uh, Bradis, great fight. How do you think Cordina Kakachi goes? Because a lot of people maybe are underestimating Anthony Kakachi. I know I've spoke to Card Frampton before, and he said that Kakachi, in his mind, is one of the most underrated fighters to come out of Ireland. Good fighter, very good, very underrated. And uh, but Cordina is a very good fighter too, you know. And um, I, I think gotta, I'd, I'd make Cordina favourite, but he's got to be—he's got to be on his game. To get the win. Last one from me. Just how good is it the Saudi influence on the sport now and having these big fight nights? You know, years gone by it was Vegas and everyone used to flock to Vegas. Now it seems to be that that Saudi Arabia is taking over. Yeah, well, I love Vegas and I love new. I love Madison Square Garden. For me, there's no. I, I, I love Vegas, yeah. but I still put Madison Square Garden as number one. You know, New York and that. But but look, Saudis. The, the bottom line is. You know, fights aren't happening, different networks, different promoters, money. But, well, they've just gone in and go, well, he's the money. And we're just buying everyone out. We're making the fight happen. And from, back, from a boxing fan's point of view, watching the fights, that's that's what we want. Matt Macklin, always a pleasure. I'm sure we'll catch up again this week. Really appreciate it, mate. Awesome.
Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.